What's up, guys? Uh, today we're gonna do the Grimvale Wear Bosses, uh, which is the five Wear Bosses in the Curse Spreads Grimvale quest line. Uh, after completing this quest line, you actually get the Foxtail Amulet and as well as access to kill these five bosses every 20 hours. Uh, so you're gonna start off, come to Cormea, and head to the, is it the last Sanctum? I know it's the Sanctum, uh, which is just south and then east of Cormea. Um, during this video, I actually get interrupted, so I will stop for a bit, uh, like my character. I, I fast forwarded a little just so it wasn't that boring. I mean, it was like an 11 minute run I think I do it in and me just babbling on for 11 minutes isn't exactly fun or exciting for anyone. Uh, so first we're going to kill the Black Vixen. Uh, she actually goes invisible and kites you and as you can see here I'm like what the fuck? But um, yeah, so usually I profit like decent but this one I think I end up profiting like 18k on all five bosses. I loot like, um, I just missing sorry grand, rip. I loot uh, fur boots. Furry Club, and I think a Minotaur Trophy? Minotaur Trophy? No. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Wear Bear Trophy? Wear Boar Trophy? I'm not really sure. But yeah, you can see she goes down pretty quick. They're all pretty easy. I think it's level 100 to 150. I mean, if you complete the quest, then you'll have no problem with the bosses. And if you're 150 plus, you can actually summon your um, your your strong summon in here. And then next up, we're on to the Shadow Pelt, which is the Wear Bear boss. Wear Bear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's a little tougher. Hits harder, more health, but I mean, you can see I don't even have to, like, I exert Echo, and my Impiumas keep me full. So any 115, I mean, you can Kite him, you can SD. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You'll see at the end of the video, I actually show my waste, which is 7k, and then my profit, which is 26k, or 25k, uh, or sorry, my loot, which is 25k. And then, sorry, this teleport actually takes you to Edron. Um, it's like the Edron Grimvale, or not Grimvale, Werebear, Werewolf Cave. Um, it's actually a super good spot to power level, as you see in the new worlds like Jonera and Faluna. A lot of like level 6 to 80 team hunted here, um, as well as power mage style. I mean, you'll see a lot of a lot of people power leveling here. But on this first minus one floor, it's gonna be two bosses, so just head straight southeast, um, and you get to Sharp Claw. Maybe I'm not even sure to be honest. Yeah, Sharp Claw, which is the Wear Badger boss. So each boss is related to uh, one of the Wear creatures, Wear creatures, whatever you want to pronounce it. Um, once again, nothing looted. Uh, usually, like, you can chance of silver, and is it, I think, silver? I don't know about gold. Let me check right quick. Dreaded Cleaver, silver token, yeah. Uh, fur armor, stone skin amulet. Uh, and then the, as well as the Moonlight Crystals, which are used to charge your werewolf amulet. Uh, I had... I, I guess there's like a full moon, uh, so you can get a lot of them. I think I like stacked like eight or ten, and this is the uh, Bloodback, or sorry, Dark Fang, the werewolf. Uh, he's the second last one. He's, like they're all super easy. Anyone can can do these level 120 plus. I would just recommend to be safe. Uh, and like I said, every 20 hours. So I mean, for 11 minutes and profit 20k with the chance. If I got two silver tokens, like say if you got lucky one day, I mean you're profiting 100k in 15 minutes and plus if you're collecting silver tokens. Uh, it's it's pretty worth it. Um, so now we're on to the last one, which is is Bloodback, the Wear Boar. So he's just a big guy, big angry guy, and he's in the far southeast corner. And then at the end of this, you'll see I actually I'll take I'll show you how to walk back to Edron. I mean, you can if you've been here before, then you know how to get here, and if not, you will now know how to get to and from here. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's part of the quest line, but I like to leave the uh, the exit in just so people don't get lost. But yeah, no loot this time. I just want to put up a video of me doing these bosses just to show you guys for those who haven't seen them before. I mean, they're pretty common, but if you haven't completed this quest, then I mean, you wouldn't have seen these bosses. Uh, they came out about a year ago now, maybe even two. I mean, I've been pretty inactive, but I'm back to work, so that's why I've been crazy busy. My schedule has just been messed. It's not as uh, not as slack as I was hoping for. It's only the first week, so hopefully it'll settle down, but I was hoping to stream tomorrow, and that really depends on if the day goes smooth or not. If it is, I'm definitely going to stream for two to three hours and try and take a few levels on some random characters. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you didn't like it, dislike it, that's fine. That's all good. To each their own, you're allowed to have your own opinion. Um, if there's any other videos you want to see, let me know. But like I said, I'm going to get about one video a week, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to try and upload it between like Tuesday and Friday, like midweek, mid to late week, but I doubt it'll be at the first of the week. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Uh, you can see I'm just going to pop up here in Edron. Uh, I guess I will talk to you soon. Take care.